Hi everybody and welcome once again to Z Code System Sports Picks. Here we share automated systems that we have developed. Why? Because we want you to win big and win consistently every single week. So as we reach the three quarter point of the NHL season, teams are jockeying for position for the playoffs and teams that are out of the playoff picture are looking to make a big push for the final spot. First, before we get started, I want you to take a, a look at our new system here, our new design. If you see here on our VIP club session, it's a completely new design. And if you look down through here on the different tabs, you can see all the different things you can look at. Contests, tutorials, bookmarkers, bonus tools. And check out the new mobile wall and check out our new uh, launch for the 2.0 wall. And also there's a new notification system. So there's a whole bunch of different things here. Just make sure you check everything out here. And, uh, you know, hopefully you will join and, uh, you know, make the betting more fun and more profitable for you. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of these games here. So like I said, we're going to look at NHL. So we're going to go down through here at some of the games for Friday the 15th. So there aren't that many games on tap. We're going to scroll down here and take a look at what we have. We have the New York Rangers at the Buffalo Sabres. So when you take a look at this matchup here, head-to-head, -head, you will see that what happened so far this year, well, they split the two games, both teams winning at home. The power rankings indicator, you notice here that Buffalo is on a slightly downward trend. They're at plus 11, and New York has actually gone up from plus 8 to plus 13, so they have a slight advantage there. And if you take a notice at the uh, at this uh, power rankings indicator thing, I showed you that what that was. And now we're going to take a look at their status. You see the Rangers are ice cold now, and the Sabres are average. If you look at the volatility oscillator, this will tell you how they are performing according to their favorite and underdog status. Buffalo was at plus 8 and New York was at plus 4, so Buffalo was a bit more stable, but still not a completely stable team, meaning uh, take a little caution when betting strictly on favorite or underdog status. But now looking at the home and road records, Buffalo 17-8-4 at home, while the Rangers are just 9-15-2 on the road. That is a huge difference. Buffalo will win this game. It will be close, it will be competitive, but Buffalo will come out on top in this one. If you look down here now at Edmonton at Carolina, well, Edmonton is really not playing very well. They are sixth place in the Pacific. They are 12, 11, and 4, though, on the road, which is surprisingly quite good on the road for them. Uh, you notice their status, though, is dead. Carolina is average up, and they are 14, 9, and 4 at home. They are in, in the middle of the Metropolitan Division. If you look here at the power rankings indicator, you see that uh, Carolina, although they are dropping, they are still plus 17 compared to a slightly rising, but still only plus four for Edmonton. If you, let's see if the team volatility oscillator wants to co cooperate this time. So let's take a look at that. It was plus six to plus five for Carolina. And um, Carolina has won both meetings so far between the teams this year. So I don't see that that trend will not continue. Carolina is a better team. They will win the game and should win it rather easily. Okay, let's go down through here now to New Jersey at Minnesota. Again, these are two teams not really going anywhere. Uh, New Jersey is the last in the Metropolitan Division. They are 7, 18, and 3 on the road. Minnesota is fifth in the Central. They are 13, 11, and 4 at home. And they won the only meeting between the teams this year. If you look at their status, ice cold down to dead. It shows you right there. Neither team's playing well at the moment. Looking at the power rankings indicator, you can see that New Jersey is at plus 2 and Minnesota on a steep decline. They're at plus 22 as of February 1st and they have pretty much just dropped all the way since then. They're now at plus 8. Um, if you look at the volatility oscillator, which I'm not going to click on because it hasn't been working, but I'll just tell you that New Jersey is plus 7, Minnesota is at minus 4, Minnesota is very unstable. Do not look at their favorite underdog status at picking this game. However, they are the better team. There's no reason why they shouldn't come away with the win in this one, although it might just be by a goal. It might even come in overtime. Okay, let's look at the last game of the, the day. This is probably the game of the day in the sense that not as far as the quality of the matchup, but because Boston is pushing towards the top in the Atlantic Division. They are second in the Atlantic. They are 11, 10, and 5 on the road. Anaheim is last in the Pacific. They're a decent 10, 8, and 8 at home considering their overall record. But you see the stats burning hot to dead. So you can see Boston's clearly the better team here, trending better. Let's go with the power rankings indicator. 
look at the steep incline for Boston just over the past, uh, what are we looking at, the past week from plus 15 to plus 27. And Anaheim is down and keep going down there just at plus two. Head-to-head. Uh, -head. Let's see what's happening in head-to-head -head matchups for this season. Uh, Boston won as a home favorite by a three-to-one margin on December the 20th. That was the only game that they played against each other this year. Let's give the roll to the Osweiler one last shot so you can see what it looks like. And again, it's taking a while to load up. I would just tell you, though, that Boston is plus 13. Anaheim is plus 6. So Boston has been the more stable team, meaning that are, they are performing more consistently with their favorite underdog status. They will obviously be a favorite, even though they're on the road. They're a better team. They're the favorite. They will win by a couple of goals that should not be a problem for Boston. Okay, so there you have the picks for this week. Now again, make sure you check out the new system here. You know, we launched it, I hope you like it. It looks, the design's very nice. It should be very much easier for you to use and to check out everything. And if you have not yet joined, please join, become part of the team and you will win big, win big consistently. Have a great day and happy betting.